All right, folks, I got a real good surprise for you today. Today, we are going out to check out the survival store in my town. The owner, who's a friend of mine, called me, told me he has some new products for us to look at. So let's get in the car and let's head on up there. All right, we're here. We're going to go inside, check out, see what they're excited to show us. He's got a lot of new gear inside, so let's get in there and check it out. Got camping gear lined up over here. That's the biggest waterproof tube tent I've ever seen. <laughs> Stoves, I love these things. These are awesome. If you're new and just getting started and you need a backup stove, like 20 bucks, you got a butane stove. You go around the back here because he's also selling Goal Zero stuff now. And we've all seen this online and on Amazon, but it's really cool to see it in your local shop firsthand. There you go. You got two little power stations, a bunch of panels, and a little. This is the one I'm most interested in this portable power bank here. All right, so over here, he's got these Rambo e bikes. I'm going to take you around straight to the front. There you go, there. Looking pretty darn good. Even comes in flat, dark earth. And it's kind of a mid-motor. You can tell down there, that's where the motor is on it. I'm used to seeing the hub and back, so I was kind of like, where's the motor? That's pretty cool. All right, let's move on to the next item. I don't know there. if you can see on this side here, it's a little darker, but there's all sorts of primitives type stuff. Flint and steel, uh, all sorts of flint and steel kits. I'm probably going to pick up a flint rock myself because I know mine's getting kind of towards the end of its life. All sorts of stuff here. So we got a whole bunch of ReadyWise stuff here. The individual meals as well as the big tubs. And we're going to have one of these coming up soon on my channel. One of my viewers donated one of these to the channel to let me do a taste test on it. So we're going to be checking one out soon. So we got some new stuff on the wall here. This is all the Fifth, fifth Ops uh, Camp Safe trip wires. Most of these use uh, 209 primers. So they're nice and loud, but not going to hurt anybody. Neat stuff there. You got a whole wall of slings and backpacks and all that other kind of gear. So if you guys are local and looking for stuff, this is all right to go. Full selection of rifles. And down here, and pretty much all the accessories you could possibly want for anything. So that's some of the new stuff that he had in stock here. And I'm glad to came check it out. I have to come back uh, more often. It's been a while since I've been in here. I'll see you guys next time. We're going to go back home. We'll All right, so we're here. back home. I wanted to show you some of the things I picked up. I hope you guys enjoyed a quick little tour of the shop. Um, we have some ideas for some more in-depth videos. Uh, him and I, we're going to come up with uh, possibly later in the year. Uh, some caching stuff we want to talk about. But um, for now, I did want to tell you a quick little story. He mentioned to me that he went up there about two and a half years ago up at the mountains, kind of this way behind us, um, and buried two bottles of water. They were basically old juice bottles that he'd rinsed out, like apple juice kind of round, decent thick bottles. And he buried them in the ground two and a half years ago. And he showed me a video of him digging them up, and they were good as new. Um, he did bury them about maybe that much under the ground he put a little uh, clay soil over the top and a rock over the top and he had a marker there a tree stump where the uh, where the water was buried so he went back up to this spot two and a half years later he meant to do it sooner to check on them but he kind of forgot and got busy and he runs that shop on his own so he didn't have much time and um, he went up there and did the video and things were perfect so we're thinking about stuff like that for a future video maybe caching some supplies maybe even in the same location and uh, we'll kind of collaborate together and put our stuff together and maybe build up an ammo can or something and bury it and see how it does for a couple years anyway this is the stuff I picked up now the first thing I picked up he um, if you saw the primitive section he has a ton of flint there and I picked up a couple pieces of it this is just the last piece I have out um, because the flint that I was using in my flint and steel kit was starting to get a little worn out and beat up. And, you know, no matter how many times you strike it, you know, whether you strike it this way or this way, eventually it's going to chip. So I did get a couple of pieces of flint. Um, the other two were put away in my kit. 
did pick this thing up here. This is a telescopic fire bellow. I am going to open this up and show you what it looks like. Let me grab my scissors here so I don't have to mess around with trying to rip an impossible package open. These are very handy. Um, and again, you can build these or make them out of old radio and TV antennas if you, if you want to tear one apart. But it works kind of like this. This is in a little tube. And it comes out like this. And you fold it out. And you can fold it out for as long as you need to be away from a fire. So if you have, let's say, a, a piece of char cloth and a tinder bundle, and you want to get it going, I can take this and blow on it. Yep, there's air coming out. And kind of increase my fire. So these are very, very handy. I do like the fact that this is actually custom made for that purpose and isn't some kind of hacked together toy. So that's kind of neat too. And I like the little container it came in. So that's that. Let me get this out of the way. Of course, potassium iodide. I have a lot of this, but whenever I see it, I pick it up. Now, they may have an expiration date on this. You know, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Generally, if you keep this in a cool, dry place, you'll probably be fine with it for way, way longer than it says on the expiration date. But I always pick up a little extra to take with me, um, to stick in my emergency kit, especially with the tensions we're seeing in the world these days. It doesn't hurt to have a little extra potassium iodide. Now, this is a new product I have not seen yet. Now, I've kind of been out of the loop when it comes to water filters because I've been reviewing so much other stuff. But this is the Sawyer Micro Squeeze. That's the filter right there. So we are going to open this up and give it a look. Um, this can be used a bunch of different ways. All right, you've got your, of course, your squeeze bag here. All right, you've got your backflow flusher that flushes it out. Adapters and a, and a top for the bag there. An adapter for that. And you have a little straw on the end of this because this can be used as a life straw as well. So if you want to stick this in here and stick it in water and drink from the other end, you can. However, this is how you would work it normally. Okay, Gotta pop that top off there. And this is the filter inside here. Again, these are good for um, 100,000 gallons. Hollow fiber membrane filters. Uh, my only warning with hollow fiber membrane filters is don't, don't get them wet and then stick them in freezing cold weather. Because the fibers will freeze and it won't filter and it will ruin it. So there you go. That's the whole thing. So expect a test on this one coming in the future. Um, I have not seen this little tiny little mini filter and that is really small. You couple that with that and use it as like a life straw. You could stick it in here and stick this underwater too. You got yourself a pretty handy little system. I don't know, would that fit in there? Yeah, it does, it fits right in there. You can also use this in line with your hydration bladder. One end here, one end here. And you can use that as a filter as well. So definitely a cool little item. And some cool little items that I picked up. He's got very affordable prices. If you happen to be local, it's called the Outpost. Very affordable prices. I did mention when I went over to the food area, um, he has the, uh, what is it? The ReadyWise buckets. And one of my subscribers uh, gave me one to test out on the channel. So we're going to be doing that soon. I just have a bunch of other videos that had deadlines. Um, we are going to test that out soon. It's a the large bucket full of ready wise food. We're going to try out some of the entrees on it as we go. But I want to show you what it was like because I thought it was really cool of them. He's like, well, I just got it and I want to know if you like it and I want to see if I want to get more. And I'm like, wow, thank you. You know, that's so cool that he gave those to me. He lives locally here. And uh, his wife has a homesteading channel but she hasn't done much with it recently. I, she's pregnant, so she's probably going to get back to it when she delivers the baby. But um, I will give you more information when we get to that. So I definitely want to show you that. Um, and I did want to mention him so he doesn't think I forgot him. <laughs> but it is coming up. We're going to do a test of that Ready Wise bucket as well. But anyway, that's my, my trip to the Outposts, my little local survival and prepper store. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, definitely, if you're local, check him out. Uh, if you live in Vegas, he's right on 160 as you come into town. If you live locally, you probably know where he is because you've seen it a thousand times. So definitely check him out. He's got some really nice new stuff in there, and I love that e-bike. That thing was cool. So check it out. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out all our links down below. We have our Amazon affiliate store. If you don't have anything in the store that you particularly like, just click the link and shop as you normally would. Uh, we really do appreciate when you guys do that. We have our freeze-dried wholesaler link. That link will save you 15% on everything from freeze-dried taco meat to freeze-dried bison to freeze-dried filet mignon, freeze-dried chocolate, 
uh, cheesecake, everything. He's got a really wide variety of stuff there, and that link will save you 15% just by using my link. Below that is our My Patriot Supply link. That's preparewithiridium.com. We got some amazing deals going on there. The three-month kit with the free Alexa Pure Gravity water filter. And below that is our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store. Don't forget to check out Thrive, folks. Awesome freeze-dried food. Very clean. No preservatives, no GMOs, no junk. Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.